Welcome to another module in this massive open online course. So we are looking at IAR filter structures. Let us continue our discussion by looking at another form that is the cascade form. Okay. So we want to start looking at the cascade form for IAR filter representation. Okay. And uh, what happens in the cascade form? is that uh, we have our transfer function h s which is a rational function okay, in z that is p z over d z and uh, these polynomials are factored into first and second order factors. These p z and d z these are factored into first first and second order factors. And uh, for instance, let us say this is given as h of z equals well p naught into 1 plus beta 1 1 z inverse divided by 1 plus alpha 1 1 z inverse all right this is a canonical form 1 plus beta 1 2 z inverse plus beta 2 2 z raise to minus 2 divided by 1 plus alpha 1 2 z inverse plus alpha 2 2 z minus 2. So, we do this and uh, this can be realized as follows. The structure for this so you can see this is a cascade of several terms all right several first order and second order terms all right. So, we have p naught times a first order term times a second order term all right. So, this is the constant gain p naught this is your first order term and this is your second order term and uh, this can be represented as follows i have xn cascade of one system after the other. So, x n let us put it this way goes through again p naught correct and then we have z inverse and uh, we have the adder over here and this will go to uh, another gain this gain will be beta 1 corresponding to the numerator. This will go to the adder we have another gain minus alpha 1 1 where alpha 1 1 is a coefficient in the denominator all right and remember this is a cascade so this will continue all right and uh, let us continue this below and uh, so this cascade will continue and uh, you will have here another adder and uh, this will be minus alpha 1 2.
z inverse. Similarly, you will have here and uh, you will have another adder here and uh, this gain is beta 1 2 and this is the adder, this is the output y n and you will have another term that is z inverse, this is beta 2 2 and this is minus alpha 2 2 and you have well of course, here you have adders. So, you have the adders okay. and uh, well this is minus alpha 1 2 beta 1 2 minus alpha 2 2 beta 2 2 and uh, here so, let us denote this point as 1. So, this point is basically 1 just to indicate that it is continuing all right. So, basically this is the first order term remember. So, this is the cascade, this is your first order factors. So, you have to factorize this, this is the first order factor and this represents your second order factor. and this represents your second order factor ok. All right. So, that basically shows the cascade form uh, that basically shows the cascade form representation of the IR uh, filter structure all right. Let us do an example to understand this. Let us go back to the example that we have considered previously. So, this is our cascade form example. And uh, what we have is we have H z equals 1 minus half z inverse over 1 minus 7 by 8 z inverse plus 3 by 32 z minus 2. This is equal to 1 minus half z inverse over 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse into 1 minus 1 by 8 z inverse correct. And uh, therefore, I can write this as two factors one is a first order factor this is basically you are separate this into two factors 1 minus half z inverse in fact, both of them will be first order factors uh, times 1 over 1 minus 8 z inverse. So, both of these are first order factors and the representation is as follows. So, we have this your x of n all right and that will go here you have a delay. The you have a delay z inverse ok and uh, here you have the gains that are basically minus half and here you have the gain that is 3 by 4 and uh, that is going inside the adder 
correct okay and this is your first factor and then the output is basically again this goes into z inverse and this is 1 over 8 and the output of this is basically nothing other than your y n all right. So, this is the first factor all right this corresponds to your uh, 1 minus half z inverse correct you can see each of this is the d f 2 representation 1 minus half inverse over 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse and this factor is your 1 over 1 minus 1 by 8 this is your 1 over 1 minus 1 by 8 z inverse all right. So, that is what we have this is the example of the cascade form. So, cascade form this is your cascade of the example that is basically uh, which is 1 minus 1 minus half z inverse over 1 minus 7 by 8 z inverse plus 3 by 32 z raise to minus 2. Okay. So, this is the example of the. So, this basically is the example for the cascade form. And now, let us look at another form for IR implementation. This is the parallel form 1 all right, in which we decompose it into a sum right a partial fraction, fraction expansion of various factors. Okay. So, we have the parallel form 1 okay. and uh, let us again consider H z equals P z over d z and now we perform a parallel fraction expansion in z inverse perform a partial fraction expansion in z inverse. So, we can write uh, or rather express h z as h z equal to gamma naught over or this is gamma naught plus gamma naught 1 over 1 plus alpha 1 1 z inverse plus this is the second order factor gamma O naught 2 gamma O 2 1 gamma 1 2 z inverse by 1 plus alpha 1 2 z inverse plus alpha 2 2 z minus 2. Okay. And uh, therefore, what uh, you can see is that we have split it into a sum, a partial fraction expansion of the first order and second order factor. Okay. And the structure of this parallel form, this can be given as follows. So, you have x n. So, now you will have these parallel branches. So, you have the first one that is the gain gamma naught then you have again gamma naught 1 and uh, this is y n and here you have 
the delay is the inverse and uh, you have minus alpha 1 1 this is the df1 representation of the first term and then you will have the second order factor and the corresponding representation will be you will have this z inverse all right and uh, you will have this gain gamma not 2 you have the adder and another adder over here and finally you will have this joining this branch and this is naturally given as this gain is you can see this is gamma 1 2 all right and uh, this is going to be you have 2 this is minus alpha 1 2 and uh, this is and this last gain here is minus alpha 2 2 all right and uh, therefore you have this uh, various and this is this is basically your parallel form you can see this is basically your parallel form 1 okay just making sure that we have no errors here this alpha 1 2 minus alpha 2 2 gamma 1 2 gamma 0 2 and uh, this is basically your parallel form 1. Okay. All right. So, basically what we have done in this module is we have essentially looked at these several examples we have introduced the cascade form looked at an example also looked at the parallel form and we will continue this discussion in the subsequent models thank you very much